You don't have to have a degree to get your government certificate of competency and get registered with the Department of Labor. I'll take you through a couple of things that you can do to get your GCC without a degree. Your GCC or Government Certificate of Competency is well sought after by a lot of engineers, especially your mechanical or electrical engineers working in mines or working in factories. It's probably one of the toughest accreditations to get um, to get registered with the Department of Labor and it does take uh, many individuals um, years to, to, to get certified. Only because of the wideness of the scope of the, of the qualification, um, especially the practical exam, um, pass rates being anything between 30% to 40% um, and actually requiring a lot of, of practical experience for one to be able to apply from first principles and link it back to what they're practically being exposed to. Not only does it come with a bit of extra compensation, especially in industries where, where there's heightened um, risk and exposure to, to safety hazards, um, but also the level of responsibility that comes with being appointed GMR 2.1 um, for any facility, whether it be um, uh, FMCG or um, underground in the sh in the mines and 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 working with with explosives or even in 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 industries such as petroleum and, and chemical handling. So so there is a lot of of responsibility that comes in ensuring that everybody on site is safe and that um, there's compliance to to the legal requirements, including the design and installation of of your machinery and electrical equipment as well. So I'll take you through some of the key things um, that individuals can look out for, that you, you guys can look out for, if you're not necessarily pursuing a degree. Um, in my previous video, I shared that you can go out and get your four or five year degree um, in whether it's a BEng, BSc or, or, B, um, or B Tech in electrical mechanical engineering. So just as a summary to remind you, for your BSc or BEng or BTech, so your degree with honors, you'll need to obviously obtain your degree and pass it from your university or Technicon. You'll also need to get two years minimum experience in a factory, um, also for mines, it's the same uh, or similar requirements, and ensure that the type of experience that you get is practical and hands-on. You'll need a letter of sobriety after your two years from your employer, especially your engineering manager, to say you're well behaved, you're always at work, you're always sober, you understand the safeties around, around the workplace. Um, and when you apply, obviously, with the commission of examiners, you'll be required to pass the two exams. So the only difference with um, someone who's got a national diploma or a national technical diploma is the exposure to the, the experience, especially in your Technicon or your TVET, and also in the working environment. So if you have a national higher diploma, which is a T4, or a national diploma, which is an S4, you do also qualify and can be selected to write for the exams. You need to ensure that you obviously pass and get your qualification, have two years minimum um, experience, and also one year minimum experience in a factory environment. Um, and it, it's important that you pass all of your, your practical subjects in your TVET college. So similar requirements to when you have a degree, um, but the emphasis is on a one year practical experience in the factory post your two years minimum experience, and that you pass all your practicals with your TVET. So the third way you can get your GCC is if you've got a national diploma. So this is the M6. Um, the requirement here is that you go through an apprenticeship. So um, depending on the organization that you work for, there is an apprenticeship program. Um, some are about three to four years long and there's a series of subjects and technical trainings with a logbook that you must fill in um, of what you've been exposed to and that you've demonstrated um, the relevant competencies. So you must undergo an apprenticeship program and complete it. And also you need to ensure that you've passed and completed um, the plant engineering syllabus of um, the TVET college that you are registered with. So very important that um, those requirements are met. And of those three, whether you've got a BTEC, 
a BNG, a BSc, whether you've got a national higher diploma or a national diploma, um, or if you've got a national technical diploma, you do qualify to sit for your GCC exams after obviously you've applied with, with the Commission of Examiners and the Department of Labor, um, and you still get the same amount of, of time um, and allocation for you to pass the two exams. So remember the first one is the OSH Act, um, which is theory based on the Occupational Health and Safety Act. And the second one is for factories or mines, um, and that's more practical where they ask um, anything from boilers to welding to wiring to SANS codes, um, and the scope is very wide. So it really does require you to, to have your eyes open when you're in the factory to understand from first principles how certain things operate, um, how basic design, um, and also if there were any problems, also to challenge how as an engineer, your thought process and your logic process um, uh, and what steps you take in resolving problems basically to get to, to, get to your resolution. So very important that you prepare. I will share further videos um, on what I did to, to prepare for number one, the theory exam and also the practical exam. Some of the material that is available out there that you can use, um, some of the after our courses that you can join and even in, at TVET, they actually do have, they do have some courses that they offer. Um, and also some of the connections that you can make with people that have um, passed the exam or those that are actually studying towards the same qualification as you. So stay tuned to my videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And see you next time. Ciao.